Hey y'all, it's Crystal, welcome. Um, I just got back from the pool, so pardon any pool hair, but it's perfect because I'm gonna be doing a tag today, the 2022 Summer Book Bay tag, a perfectly summery bookish tag created by uh, MJ over at Reading This Life. She has a wonderful channel. I'll of course link her below. Go check out her original video. She has a really fun intro for it. It was a lot of fun. Go check it out. So I'll link it below. But we're going to dig right on into these questions, okay? So number one, summer is a sexy time of year. Do you think reading is sexy? I don't think summer is the sexy time of year. <laughs> um, the older I get, the more I don't like summer. Uh, I, you know, I, I could play outside all day when I was a kid at the summertime. And now I'm like, I sweat. And I don't like it. I don't like it. So I don't find that very sexy, but do I think reading is sexy? And I guess it depends on the kind of book, but no. Um, I, I don't think necessarily it's sexy. I mean, it maybe just depends on who's doing the reading too. I I'm gonna go, my first thoughts would be no. Not necessarily sexy, but, but it makes me interested in someone. <laughs> so number two, random meetings. What fictional character and or author author would you enjoy meeting at a backyard party or cookout? So I immediately thought of Stephen Graham Jones. I think I think he would be really fun to chat with at a cookout. Um, I think he just has a wealth of knowledge of, you know, like scary movies and books and I just think I just think he'd be really fun to have a chat with. So I think Stephen Graham Jones, and then also if you pair that with Greg Grady Hendrix, could you imagine how much fun it would be to talk about horror movies and horror books with those two? I think that, I think that would be hilarious. Drinking some cold beer, you know, eating some hot dogs, tater salad, talking spooky stuff. That would make me want to go to a cookout. <laughs> Excuse me. All right, for number three. Opposites attract. Name two characters from different books or genres you would love to see coupled or partnered up in a story. Sorry, I can't even read my own writing. Thought about this one for a little while. And I think these two would make a good mashup. So Tracker from Black Leopard Red Wolf by Marlon James and Dr. Barrett from Hell House. So Tracker is, uh, is somebody who has like superhuman of a sense of smell. He can track people from, I mean, miles and miles and miles, hundreds of miles away. Like, he knows. He knows where people are. So, of course, Dr. Barrett is on the hunt for supernatural phenomena in Hell House. He's also, in a sense, trying to debunk the phenomena. So, I think these would make a good kind of Scully and Mulder kind of duo on go on the hunt for, you know, supernatural things. Uh, Dr. Barrett would be like the Scully character and he would be like, no, I smell this ghost. It's, you know, 50 miles that way. And then they would just be really fun, a ghost hunting duo. I think it could be fun. I don't know, I'd, I'd read it. <laughs> All right, <clears throat> excuse me. Number four, get outside. Do you enjoy reading outside? I do to a point. If it's real hot, like I'm not gonna be out sitting outside. Like I'm just not. I'm gonna need some shade, <laughs> you know. Uh, I do prefer when it's cooler. I'm just, I'm old and I just can't, I can't do the heat like I used to, like I said. It's just not fun for me. Uh, but it's something, you know, I can take my son to the pool. We're very lucky to have a neighborhood pool. And he's at the age now where I, I don't have to like be in the water with him all the time, you know. Um, he kind of knows to stay in his little section and uh, he does his own thing and, and um, as long as it's not super crowded, which it, we usually go when it's not super crowded, um, you know, I, he can just hang out and do his own thing. So I can sit, you know, on the deck chairs or in the, at the tables or whatever at the pool side and read a little bit. So that's been, that's been kind of nice when, you know, some good things about when your kids get a little bit older. Um, but yeah. Gonna need some shade, for sure. <laughs> 
So number five, preference matters. What do you prefer for outdoor summertime reading, physical or ebook? For summertime reading, I, mean, I don't guess I don't really have a preference. Honestly, I do have a Kindle, um, so I mean it doesn't have a lot of reflection to it. You know, the Kindle, uh, what's it called, Paperwhite. Uh, so that that's really good for reading outside. So honestly, as long as I'm not near like a ton of water or anything like that. I feel safe with my, with the Kindle. If I'm beachside though, I might be a little nervous about sand getting up the gear, getting into the gears and everything. So maybe I just take a paper book like to the beach or something. Um, but really, either or, either or. Okay, number six, recommend a summertime read, and I have two because I can do what I want to. So summertime, I think for a lot of people is when they read because um, they just have the time because they're busy working and. You know they're maybe not you know crazy readers you know like like I am but they do like to read a few books a year and in the summertime is when they get those books in and, and this, a lot of times they read their real popular books but a lot of times it's kind of like thrillers or romance those kinds of books seem to get read in the uh, in the summertime I would highly recommend Razor Blade Tears by S.A. Cosby I think it's a perfect summertime read because it is it's just a you will fly through it the perfect sitting at the beach you know, turning the pages, figuring out what is going on with these uh, our two main characters who are, uh, they're two kind of older older fellows, and right at the beginning of the book, uh, their two sons are, are murdered, and their two sons were are gay and were married and had a relationship and everything. Uh, what we discover is that the two fathers maybe weren't necessarily as very accepting of that relationship, and so, um, think on a path of sort of trying to make up for that feeling and then also trying to find revenge you know like who murdered their sons because the cops aren't doing a very good job at it so they set off together as a kind of oddball couple um, to figure out what's going on and I just love this book I flew through it it's a quick read the characters are great uh, Buddy Lee uh, and uh, let's see that guy's name Ike yeah Buddy Lee and Ike they're just like I said, they're like an odd couple, but but they do also have a lot in common, and of course, just this grief that they're dealing with. So it's really good. It's really really good. <clears throat> if you like something a bit on the slower side, though, I think Mex Mexican Gothic is perfect for the summertime. It's a nice slow build of a story. Again, very gothic, as the title suggests. But um, we follow a woman as she goes to check out her cousin who got married to this guy very quickly and was whisked away to this big, you know, mansion house. And so her father sends her out saying, go check on your cousin because we haven't heard from her in a while. So she does. And she is figuring out what's going on. Her, her cousin seems pretty sickly. The family itself, very, you know, offbeat and strange. And so we figure out what's going on. The main character here, what's her name again? Yeah, Noemi, that's right. Is, is fantastic. I loved I loved uh, this book. I loved following her story. I think it's a good summertime read too. So yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, number seven. What's your favorite summertime beverage? So for like non-alcoholic, I mean lemonades are always good in the uh, summer. And I always prefer like strawberry lemonade or like watermelon lemonades. Um, things like milkshakes and slushies, all that kinds of stuff is always fun in the summer. Um, Slurpees, you know, the, like <laughs> ices, those things are always really fun in the summertime. Um, but if we're if like alcoholic type drinks, I mean, pina coladas, baby. Oh, that's the best summertime <laughs> drink. It's a dang on pina, a pina colada or like strawberry daiquiris. I mean, just they ooze the summertime, right? So, yeah. But I got that. Okay, ducky. I keep losing my spot. Okay, where, uh, number eight. Where is your favorite vacation destination? Um, I really wouldn't, as a family, we go a lot to the mountain areas because it's a little bit cooler. Have I mentioned that we don't do good in the heat? Yeah. It's a little cooler usually. We can get, we can get warm, but. So we live in North Carolina and we're pretty close, you know, three or four hour drive depending on kind of which part of the state you want to go to we're up in the mountains and we love spending time up there and 
and uh, we just enjoy it. It's just pretty and sights and go hiking and yeah, we love that. So the mountains I do, I do really love. <clears throat> but we are about to go to the beach. We're gonna be going on vacation next week. So I haven't been to the beach in years and years. So we decided to go to the beach this year. Gotta mix it up sometimes. Alrighty, number nine, recommend a book that's set in a unique or exotic location. And, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm gonna go with this one because it is also <laughs> a perfect summertime read, especially if you were looking for a fun slasher. So Paradise Club by Tim Meyer is a really good slasher book. It was a lot of fun. So basically we have this family, excuse me, that, um, <clears throat> excuse me, they kind of uh, won, a, uh, won like a contest, won a free trip to the Paradise Club. So you see it's just tropical, looks amazing. It's gorgeous, it's gonna be amazing. All expenses paid. I mean, the whole, the whole shebang, right? And well, perhaps uh, something else, there's an ulterior motive here, but behind the organizers of this get together because there's a big group of people that have all kind of been invited to the Paradise Club for this weekend. And yeah, outlook not good for this family. We're following a family of four as they are you know, looking for this trip, looking for their time away to reconnect as a family. Mm. It's not gonna end too well. It's fun, bloody slashy good time. And uh, again, perfect, absolutely perfect for the summertime. So yeah, Paradise Club by Tim Meyer. It's a fun one. All right. Number 10. Have you ever asked a total stranger uh, what they are reading or have given a book re recommendation to a stranger in person? And I don't think so. I'm not a, I'm not one that's going to approach a stranger. I'm just, that's just not me. I'm just not that, that's not, I'm not about that life. You know what I mean? <laughs> so I'm going to have a big no on that one. So number 11, recommend a new book bay booktuber that's under 100, sub, one, uh, under 100 subs. I'm gonna go with my pal, Bonnie over at the Purple Bookish Frog. She's been a little while since she's done a video, but go ahead and subscribe so when she puts out a new video, you can check her out. And um, she reads a lot of horror and some fantasy, some romance, but yeah, she's a lot of fun. So go check her out. I'll link her below. And then 11 to tag three people. I always feel really awkward tagging people. So Purple Burkish Frog, I'll tag you. Maybe we'll come back and do that one. I'll tag M's, oh, Emily, over at, uh, Emily over at M's Book Nook. Maybe you'd like to talk a little bit about summer reading. And who, I'm gonna tag two people because I can't even think of anyone else that I've subscribed to at the moment. Because that's how it goes. So MJ, thanks so much for putting this fun summer book tag together. <laughs> and I'm sorry for being so tongue-tied today, I agree. Uh, yeah, that's gonna do it for me, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I always appreciate your time. Until next time, hope you have a great summer. Bye.